Hey, Aaron Newcomb here, and I'm here to talk about the Logitech Harmony Smart Keyboard. Uh, this thing is really awesome. What it is is, if you're if you know about the Harmony Hub, which is basically this little device here, uh, it actually connects to all your devices and uh, everything from this little hub. You just put it somewhere within range of your devices, and you use that, and then you can use uh, either the the Harmony remote that comes, the expensive one that you can buy with it, or you can just use your cell phone, which is great, your smartphone. Um, but this actually adds in another device, which Logitech is known for their peripherals, or in this case, their computer, or their keyboard. So this adds in a keyboard for all those times when you want to connect to your um, uh, your high definition, or your uh, home theater PC, your HTPC at home, or maybe you're running XBMC at home and you don't have a keyboard, I mean, all that kind of stuff that you want a keyboard for, now you can do that. And it's only $50 more than the Harmony Smart Hub itself. So it's $150 from Logitech and it adds this nice little keyboard. There's a lot of really cool things about this device that you should know about. So first off, it connects to up to eight devices uh, around your living room, whatever area you've got your TV in, so that's great. Um, it adds the Harmony, all of the Harmony um, compatibility that you get with all the various devices and how easy it is to set up and all that stuff. You get that, of course, because it's a Harmony product. Also, um, one thing that's kind of nice about it is it comes with a couple of these little USB um, dongles that you can put into your PC or home theater PC or laptop, whatever, and control those. So that's nice. You actually get two of them. A lot of times when you get a wireless keyboard, it comes with one. And if you want to control more than one device, you have to get up out of your chair, move the dongle over to the, to the other thing and all that. But this comes with actually two dongles. It also comes with a extender. So some peripherals have the USB plug buried way, you know, underneath the case or something. It's really hard to get to. You can actually just plug this into the extender and then plug the extender into your USB socket. Um, so that's nice. Um, it also comes with a uh, little repeater, an IR repeater. So you can hide the hub if you want to and stick this out in front of your devices and use that instead. So what I'm gonna do, I have an activity programmed into the app and all I have to do to start that activity, this one's called PC TV, so this could be um, an HTPC in your house or something like that that's connected to your big screen TV. All you have to do is tap on that it's going to go ahead and start it. In fact, you can't hear this, but I could hear the TV coming on. Uh, so the TV's warming up and coming on. It's actually making a connection to my computer, and it's telling the keyboard to go ahead and connect via the USB dongle. So now I actually have um, uh, a nice little remote on the screen that I can do things with. Uh, for example, if I want, I have this program to control the volume on my laptop. So if I turn mute off, it actually turns mute off on my laptop or back on and I can adjust volume and change channels and hit play and forward and other things as well. But that's really as easy as it is. It turned the TV on behind us and um, it gives me now control over functions either on the TV or on my laptop depending on how I set it up. So now let's, just so you can see, I'll switch to using, using the Harmony keyboard so you can see how that works. The keyboard itself, um, it's a little small, but it's basically the same size as the keyboard on my laptop. Not much different. The only thing I found difficult to use was the uh, the backspace and shift, uh, some of the shift buttons and, and some of those extended uh, keys on the keyboard are a little bit smaller. So where I, I'm used to hitting them, they're not quite there. So when I reach up with my pinky, sometimes I hit plus instead of backspace. But it's otherwise, the actual keys that you're going to be typing with the most are actually uh, pretty comfortable. So let's go ahead and switch applications so you can see what this looks like. Here's Word. Um, so as you can see, I mean, it actually, it's very quick. It responds very quickly. Um, so you can see there's no delay using the USB. This also connects via Bluetooth. So if I wanted to use the built-in Bluetooth, I could do that. Um, but it's really, really nice. It's very comfortable. It's comfortable both on a table. It's comfortable on your lap because it's big enough to fit on your lap. Uh, while not being really clunky and cumbersome. Um, it also has a nice finish on the keyboard, which is very important. So um, you, uh, you know, you're, it's not gonna slip out of your hands when you're using it. So that's also really cool. So that is the keyboard portion of this. Now, um, there are other functions on the keyboard as well. So there's volume functions, just like you'd find on your laptop. There's functions to change from DVR, or bring up a menu. And there's also the color-coded buttons down here at the bottom if you're used to having a remote that has the green, blue, uh, you know, kind of miscellaneous function buttons. Those are there as well. So you can use those right from the keyboard if you want to, or again, you could do it from your phone, either way. 
All right, so let's wrap this up. Pros and cons. You can see them on the screen. Uh, fairly comfortable full-size keyboard. So, like I said, some of the buttons on here are a little bit jinky because they're small because they wanted to squeeze them onto the, this form factor, but otherwise it's fine. Um, connects to eight devices, which is great because so many people have so many devices in their living room right now that they want to control. This connects to Roku, it connects to Xbox, it connects to PS3, PS4 is coming soon. Um, obviously it connects to your laptop or home theater PC and all TVs, Blu-ray players, whatever you want, everything that Harmony's known for, it's going to connect to. Um, the centralized hub, which is nice to connect to all your equipment, that means you don't have to change things around manually as you're sitting on your couch. Everything goes through the hub, so Bluetooth functionality, USB functionality, and of course infrared, RF connections, it all goes through the hub. So the hub manages what's connecting to what and what it's sending signals to, which is great. And also it has really easy setup for beginners or advanced users. So nice little walkthrough screens to show you how to get your TV up and running, but if you really want to control, control things and go down to, I want, when I press this button, I want it to send this signal, you can do that as well. Now the cons, there's no backlight on this keyboard. That's the one thing that kind of irks me because you're using this probably in a low light environment and maybe you need to type something in. I, I run into this all the time um, at home where I need to type in my password for a certain service on my smart TV or something, and guess what? No backlight, I gotta turn on the light or get out my phone or something, I can't see the key. So that's one major con. Con. The other small con is that the central hub, because everything's running through here, it means that you have to have this on, powered, connected, or else you can't use anything, uh, which was a little bit of a pain because I'd like to be able to use this keyboard just to you know, take it with me on the road and connect to my laptop and use it, or connect to my phone or something and use it um, as a separate keyboard. You can't do that unless you have the hub. So you gotta have the hub. So that's a little bit of a con too. Overall, I would totally recommend buying this product if you're in the market for a new remote and you'd really, you know, I, I'd rather use my smartphone. I don't want to use an old-fashioned remote. I'd rather just use that. Totally recommend buying it, especially if, of course, you have an HTPC or a laptop or some sort of computer that you also want to connect to your TV and use at home. So total buy recommendation for me. I'm Aaron Newcomb, and thanks for watching.